everyone this is Deshi Singh from smart Tech. and before everything is I would like to wish you a very happy new year and uh, and uh, before you know starting my tutorial I would like to apologize if, about a few things first of all no I could not crack that password that hash I said that I would and uh, and that I decided to create Wireshack tutorials and all nope they aren't really happening because i was just you know exploring the computer science world computer science world so yeah i'm gonna explore you know one of the most important things in right now scenario and it's you know adobe photoshop cc 2018 yeah i installed the crack and all well basically not me my brother but yeah we figured it out and we're gonna use it today to create um double exposure you guys must have heard taylor swift's uh, songs and all and she has used or basically her creative designers have used double exposure in one of her album covers i don't know i don't remember exactly maybe it was style or something but well yeah never mind let me show you what we are gonna make today <coughs> and uh, e projects photoshop stuff so what i'm gonna do is combine this person with uh, the snow mountain to create something like this well this was supposed to be our channel art but but nope thanks to youtube nothing really happens in one go so here we go sorry open with photoshop Ah, here we go. Come on. Yeah, so very first thing which you're gonna do is uh you have to separate this guy out of this photograph, you know. So you go to channel, select blue, you know, select the one with highest contrast and it's red, green, or blue. I suppose it's blue, so I copy it here and then go to image adjustments levels, darken this baby yep like this okay now what you gotta do is take a brush a normal brush maybe great size but hard tip make sure it's hard hard round perfect bit more boy yeah and uh, sorry cancel it I just want to make sure that it's black over here just do this And select this, select this, select this. Just shorten it and be careful at the edges, you know. Just nose over here. There you go, we're done. <coughs> now select RGB again, control and click this blue copy. And layers control V and on, what just happened. Oh sorry, control and click this blue copy, then filter sorry select inverse. So that this guy is selected. You control copy it, paste it here. Now what you gotta do is set this background color to white. Control you can do that by clicking this background thing and control delete. Oops 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 try it again D control delete yeah perfect you know perfect now what you gotta do is take that background image where's the background image open with photoshop again yeah unlock it take this oops <laughs> take this guy over here place it now face here and control and click this layer and apply a layer mask there you go now unlick this thing and click this edit um, hit transform scale to you know independently scale this image 
But suppose you want to be bigger than this. You know, decide your own composition. I am liking this one more. So I just leave it here. Now, uh, copy it. We set the upper pace. Then, image. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where is it? it? <coughs> you know, we, for, we also forget it. I'm also, uh, yeah, they will be saturated. Apply a layer mask. Oh, sorry. First of all, multiply. Multiply. There you go. Now, apply a layer mask to this. Make sure this is black again. And where's that? Brush, hit B, I hit B. A bit more. Now suppose this it is the non-facial features. For example, I don't want this jacket over here. Easy boy. Actually, just one more thing. You have to just make this brush super soft. So super soft brush. There you go, like this. Remove any non-facial features. Non-facial features, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways. There you go. I also want to remove these hairs over here. So, I, there you go. Like this, just a bit bigger. Come on, a bit more. I don't want these hairs right now, so I decide to show them out. And perfect. There you go. Now, well, basically, your job is almost done here, but suppose you want some more drama and all. What you do? Select this guy again. Put it here. Correctly. And then filter blur it. Gaussian blur it to 250 pixels. Apply a layer mask. Sorry, apply a layer mask. Hit the brush again. And make sure that this thing again. Come on, show yourselves why. Yeah, like this. Just a second. Perfect. Closely. You're not control Z that because I have something else in my mind which I'm already trying here. A bit careful, a bit careful, careful around here. Perfect. Come on, show your head boy. Show your head. Like this. Slowly. Perfect. You know you should be knowing your model is located to get this effect a bit perfectly. Yeah, 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 good boy. Perfect. Yeah. So that's what we are striving for. And there you go. What else do you want, man? Maximum thing you can do is uh, hit this. Sorry, cancel. And reduce the opacity so that, yeah, just a subtle tone over there. And yeah, you're done with your double exposure. Now you can, you know, further edit it or contrast it and level it, but that's pretty much it. It looks perfect for me. And that's how you do it, to be honest. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And, you know, I'll be coming up with more awesome tutorials like plotograph and all well those are all for future so make sure you hit like share and subscribe and spread the word if it was helpful and you know leave constructive comments in the tutorial even if you're watching the whole tutorial so so well see ya and happy new year again